There's something about hot weather that gets people rushing out of the house and into the garden, and I don't blame them. A question I've gotten a lot this week is, when can I plant those favorites, the tomatoes and basil and all of those really tender summer plants? My suggestion is to wait a while, and here's why. Out of the last five years, March has dropped into the 20s four times, and that's considered normal. Our average last freeze is late March. Historically, there's only an 8% chance that we've already passed our last freeze of the season, and an April freeze shows up in the history books 30% of the time. It's really better to wait until after the first week of April to plant anything tender. But with all of that said, there's still a lot that you can grow in the garden right now if you choose the right plants. And here are a few of my favorites. Cardoon is really cold tolerant. You're probably not going to get the most out of it if you plant it now. But you can plant starts for parsley and cilantro because they both love the cold. And they can handle temperatures below freezing without any damage. Arugula you can actually start from seed this time of the year because it grows so fast. And that's also very cold tolerant. Ours have survived temperatures well into the 20s. Broccoli, at least 25 degrees it's good for. And lettuce, you can start those seeds. You can start mustard seeds now because those are very fast growing and they're also cold tolerant. You can still start some snow peas from seed. Those will do very well. Ours have been in the garden all winter. And kale and cabbage are about as cold tolerant as it gets. Now, the one thing you have to keep in mind with these cold loving plants is that they don't love the heat and they'll usually start to flower and lose their flavor once we get into the warm weather months. I'm News 19 meteorologist Alex Calamia.